creatives! Welcome to Sammy Says Create! And this is a channel where I do all sorts of DIY and creative projects and I bring you along for the ride. So if you're new here, hello! If you're not, welcome back! So for today's video, I am going to be trying my hand at needle felting for the first ever time. And you guys will get to watch and see how amazing or how terrible I do. I am going to be using this needle felting kit that I got recently from Hobbycraft and I'm going to be following the instructions and I'm going to see if I can make these cute little animals. Without further ado, let's roll those titles. this animal felting kit from Hobbycraft. If you saw last week's video, which I will link up here, I did a Hobbycraft haul and this is where I got that. This was relatively cheap, I think it cost about £4, £4.30 I think it was, and it's an animal felting kit. So in it we have all the materials to make these three cute little animals. So I've never done needle felting before. It is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now, so I am super excited to jump in and get started on this. Um, but just to show you before I get started, the only instructions I have for this kit is what's written on the back here. And I've literally just got these three pictures. So I'm a little bit conscious of the fact that I don't really know, apart from the front here, what these animals are supposed to look like. I think it would have been better if maybe we had a little step-by-step -step booklet with like a little picture of all the body parts, but we don't. So we will roll with it and see what happens. Inside my box, I have got the, so this is the fluff, the wool that we will be using. It's got all the different colors. I have got my, foamy bit and my needles are in here as well. I did find, it took me a while to find these needles but they are here. We have got the little eggs for the body, presumably. We've got three of these for the little bodies. I've got some more, I've got the white fur and I've got some little beads for eyes. So that is what I have inside the box. So I'm going to keep this picture, I'm going to keep the little instructions on the back and I'm going to try and follow these and you guys are going to follow along with me. So if this turns out horrendously, I do apologise. Let's get needle felting. Okay, so instructions. Separate the felt portions. No, that's a lie. Separate the felt into portions suitable for each animal. Top tip, be careful to handle gently and do not cut with scissors. Okay, so separate it into portions suitable for each animal. How do we know what portion is suitable for each animal? Um, let's tr let's just go with this. I think it's a rabbit. I'm sure that's a rabbit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, hang on. There's two slightly different colours in there. That is... <laughs> I'm already confused. I think that might be for the fox's belly. Is that for the fox's belly? I think so. And then I think that is just for the rabbity thing. Uh, to create the body, wrap felt around the polystyrene shape and hold it into place. Use the felting needle to stab the felt so that it becomes attached to the polystyrene. This will create a matted wool effect. The more you stab, the more matted and dense the wool becomes. Leave the wool on the rabbit's body quite loose. It is a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Oh, I'm not going to lie, I don't really like the feel of this wool. I didn't think it would be like... It's not quite like cotton wool, but it's also not my favourite. I am just going to wrap and stab and leave a bit at the end like this to try and have like the little head maybe. Oh, there's some weird stuff coming off it. Oh, I don't know if I like this. It's making my hands feel weird. Oh, okay. So let's wrap, wrap and stab. I'm scared I'm going to ruin the ball. Is this right? Okay, so I'm just starting off by wrapping the wool. So I'm just going to wrap 
like pull and pull it and wrap and then stab and then I'm hopefully gonna have enough leftover up here to kind of form like a head oh hang on I need some extra oh, I need some extra for his ears oh oh I don't like that right okay I'm gonna keep that aside maybe stab stabby mix stab stab I'm so scared it's gonna go through the polystyrene and into my finger That is something I would definitely do, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Top tip, this does take some time, so be patient. You can see here, the more I'm stabbing into it, the more it's getting kind of like dense and sticking into the polystyrene. the head so I think I'm going to take some of the wall and I'm thinking if I roll it so if I roll it and stab it is that, I'm gonna stab the head onto the body to try and join it together I think oh wow perfectly round but it's a bit of a head shape roll body I think like here which side this side maybe stab him onto him stab his ears on oh this is currently my bunny rabbit so now I need to do his cheeks. So he's just got two little cheeks. So let's just pull a little bit off. Pull it off and we're going to roll it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to stab it so it's all nice and compact. Stab his nose. It's kind of just round. Doesn't matter too much about. I think that's quite nose shaped. It's quite this little nose to go on. So I'm gonna stab his nose on. Sounds really mean. Oh no. We need two little cheeks. I'm gonna try and again, I'm just gonna roll it. cheeks on here and here. I'm gonna oh, stab him. Oh no! And this is where we are at. Ah. Oh, quite cute, it looks like a little fluffy tail. I'm going to try and stick his eye on with a glue dot. Couple of last minute security measures.
So there you go guys, that was the Hobbycraft Knit and Stitch Animal Needle Felting Kit. So little Foxy here is my favourite. So I've not done the mouse yet, I didn't get around to doing the mouse so it took me quite a while just to do these two. Overall needle felting is something that I have really enjoyed but, but I will say but, any of you out there that want to try it you do have to have quite a lot of patience. So they didn't turn out quite as terrible as what I thought. Overall it was quite a nice little kit especially for the price, like I said it cost £4.30 in total and I would say it probably takes a minimum of like an hour to do each of these animals so that's a couple of hours worth of entertainment there for £4 so not too bad. So, oh no! Drop it down. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do show me some love by hitting that thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram to keep up with the crafty stuff that I'm doing during the week. Come back on Sunday for another episode of 5 Minute Fat Quarters. But until then, keep creative. Bye!